Welcome back to the Arise interview. I'm Charles Zinia Gould. Now let's continue with the theme of quarantine hotels in Nigeria and one horror story that's emerged from travelers returning to the country from Turkey, which is a red list country. As you heard earlier in the program, the government's hotel quarantine scheme has been described by them as a torment of squalid conditions and one from which those quarantined are legally unable to leave. They talked about filthy rooms, squalid conditions and a quarantine hotel that's open to the public, making it impossible to practice social distancing and defeating the whole point of the quarantine. The government, though, isn't conceding any missteps in its management of the quarantine system. Well, to get the other side of the story, the government side, I'm joined now in the studio by Hajia Fatima Ahmed, who is the Disease Surveillance and Notification Officer for the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. You're welcome. Um, just tell us the, a little bit about the work that you do. Okay, I am the Disease Surveillance and Notification Officer for FCT, which means that all the... We do surveillance for all disease conditions and then we report for timely intervention by the government and um, for COVID-19 it is not a difference so for those in um, quarantine we do the in-country surveillance meaning when they come in the port health check them and then those that are coming from the red zone that is um, Turkey, India, Brazil and South Africa they take them to the quarantine centers that the government had designated. And um, we now come in and make sure that they do their second day testing and they do their seven day test. And then um, from then, if they are negative, then we allow them to go. And, and do you also check the conditions under which they are being held in quarantine? Yes, we do. Right, because um, from what the people are saying to us, they, they said that, first of all, they were bussed to the hotel without social distancing. In other words, they, I mean, we saw the, the pictures. They were all sitting together, um, like, in t you know, the way you normally have in a bus. And then yeah. they got to the hotel, and there were, there were no social distancing conditions. There were people were moving in and out of the hotel. People were not wearing masks and all that. What's your response to that? Okay, for that, um, the Nigerian government said um, nobody should come in from those countries. So if you have to come in, then you have to do the seven days mandatory quarantine. And then f for the social distancing aspect, the bus that is being provided by the government is the one that takes these passengers to a designated hotel. And we have um, three of them that are operating now. Mm -hmm. We have the Bonn Hotel Apartment at Apple. We have the Barcelona Hotel. And then we also have the Nikon Luxury Hotel. And then for the diplomats or the high profile people that think they don't want to stay in this hotel, they have the option of going to Fraser Hotels. And um, we are also trying to look at um, hotels like um, Hilton and Sheraton. In fact, we are trying to start negotiation with them so that you have a choice you choose the hotel you think you can pay but all this is at no cost to government mm -hmm. it's you bear the cost of the accommodation and the feeding and for the social distancing and the no mask we all know that the no mask thing is actually something that um the government is trying to see that everybody uses masks but there is no law yet to set. Right. But, but what I'm trying to understand is mm. if you're trying to quarantine mm. people and the idea behind quarantining them mm. is to try and keep COVID-19 out of the country, mm -hmm. then isn't it incumbent upon you to monitor them all the way through, make sure that they are properly isolated? In other words, if they go into a hotel, they are kept on a floor where they don't mix with anybody else. If they're going to go down to reception, the reception has to be cleared for them. They, you know, they, then they come do their stuff. That's the point of isolation. And if you're not doing that, why are you keeping them in quarantine? Okay. First and foremost, they are supposed to come in with a negative results which they did they which said they, they did they did yeah. yeah some did some came with fake results 
and then once they enter well, some the, come with fake results yes how do you know they're fake the barcode on the results when we scan okay. it it shows that it's right. fake okay so when they come in and they take them to the hotel ideally you're not supposed to leave your room you're supposed to stay indoors for those seven days mm. your meals will be served there your sheets will be changed after day two test and you are turned negative so the idea of them coming out in fact that is what we have been struggling with we had a meeting yesterday and we're going to be very stern you they are not supposed to leave your room that is the idea of a quarantine you're supposed to be indoors for those seven days so what are you doing downstairs mm. Well, we should be asking you that question because, I mean, you're the one who is charged with making sure. I mean, not you in particular, know, but, yeah. you know, the government is mm -hmm. charged with making sure that they don't leave their rooms. I mean, what I'm trying to say is that y y y what you're saying to us basically is that it's difficult for you to impose and enforce quarantine restrictions. Because there is no particular hotel that has been designated for quarantine alone. They still have other passengers coming right. in. So what we do, we tell them to give us either a wing right. or a floor. So that is what we're negotiating with them now. Right. They give us, a, if, they, if the hotels agree to give us a wing or a floor, then we have our officers there 24 hours mm. that is at that floor. And then when you come out of your room, you say, hello, sir, please, you're Where not supposed you to stand, please yeah. stand back so but you're still negotiating we're still negotiating right. to do that yes. but obviously if you're not doing it properly which it clearly isn't going properly mm -hmm. at the moment then it's going to have limited effectiveness isn't it and and it raises the prospect of cross infection i agree with you but like i said again those people are coming with a positive with a negative result right so we are just trying to make sure that the incubation period between their last test uh is and their next test, right. that's why we're putting them in quarantine. We don't want to put anything... Um, now, in, in fairness to you, yeah. um, because we're not just here to leap down on the government mm -hmm. from a great height, but in fairness to you, they said that even after they took the test, mm -hmm. the, the, the one that they had to do 24 hours before they arrived, yeah. they, as soon as they got to the hotel, they were also subjected to, to another a test. test. Yes. So it, to clarify that, in fact nothing has happened there was no right um infection from the point of travel to nigeria because anything could happen or from any point absolutely yeah and and the people who are um from coming in from outside in other words the people who are not being quarantined mm -hmm. they really have no idea that they are going to a quarantine hotel do they i mean they're, they're not informed shouldn't they be informed that potentially there are people who might be infected in this hotel? Take your question again, I don't understand. No, what I'm saying is that, you know, the, um, the hotels okay. are open to the public. Yes. That is, in, in addition to the fact that you're putting people who are quarantined, mm -hmm. there, they're, they're generally open to the, anybody can wander in and wander out. Of course. No restrictions observed, mm -hmm. people mu moving around using the same lifts mm -hmm. with people on, on, you know, the people who are being quarantined. Mm -hmm. I mean, what I'm trying to understand is the people who are coming in from outside they have no idea that they're going to a quarantine hotel. I'm not talking about the people flying in from Oh, Turkey. okay, okay. I mean, they don't have any idea, so they're, they're just moving around freely and, and are therefore subject to potential infection. And therefore, that means that you're, what you're doing is, is failing from the start. Potential infection, I beg to disagree because these people are negative. We are just putting them on quarantine right. to be sure. So that's your argument, yes. that basically they are They're already ne negative, negative and they've been scientifically shown, shown. to be negative. Yes. Right, okay. Yeah. But, but do you give, I mean, you mentioned uh, hotels, because the people we talked to didn't seem to think there was a choice of hotels. No, there was just a choice of hotel. Right. Because um, on Saturday there was um, a diplomat that came in and she was taken to Barcelona and she didn't want to stay in Barcelona and she said her embassy had um, a retainership with Fraser's Hotel and we said right. go for where we, we moved her to Fraser's Hotel we've had people that have complained I don't want to stay in this hotel and then we'll give you the names of the hotel that we are monitoring for now and you will choose among them and then we'll move you to that hotel we don't have any issue with that well I have to say that having spoken to you mm -hmm. I feel considerably better because when I spoke to those guys at first, I was very worried. I feel less worried, still worried, mm -hmm. but not as much. 
I want to thank you very much indeed, Hajia Fatima Ahmed, who is the Disease Surveillance and Notification Officer for the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.